Hi, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a Capricorn August 2020 tarot reading. I will go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. I'll lay your cards out. I'll put up a photo up here as well for you guys to see what comes out and then we'll dive right in. I'm going to pull one card for now and I will pull a second card pretty quickly just to get a second layer and go a little bit deeper to see what's happening for you guys Capricorn August 2020. What wants to pop out? The Ten of Cups, happiness, happy, oh, and you, the devil, just saying, hi, it's for me. Um, let me give these a little bit more of a shuffle, lay out your cards, and then we'll talk about it. Um, I do like to shuffle these a little bit here together. This way we kind of tune into each other's energy. All right, two more, and then let's see what's happening for you guys. August 2020 for Capricorn. There we go. Oh wow it's like so many life-changing things for you guys it's so interesting lately but always they've been positive let's see let us see so interesting so interesting okay at the very center of your reading i'm gonna have to pull another card soon for sure but we do have the star here could just be about wishes fulfilled, but it definitely for me always speaks of like self-acceptance. Absolutely self-acceptance. Cause like you see this naked figure and I always think you're naked because you're so comfortable in your skin that you've accepted yourself so much that that's the place where you're at. So much healing, so much renewal, that you're full again, that you're ready to take on life again. Like this person is so full that they can give back to the earth, that they pour back, they're not taking, they're giving because they're so full, they're so replenished. You talk about the chakras being aligned with the seven stars here. There's a lot of healing in this month of August for you guys. Wish is fulfilled, but healing absolutely is coming through. What is challenging this healing is making a judgment call. It's a decision. There's some decision here that's challenging you, absolutely. Um, and it could even be tied to this person from your past. It's not, sorry not from your past, but in the past, very recently, that's affecting this healing, absolutely. Um, could have been a conversation with somebody. We have the Queen of Swords, absolutely. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, doesn't have to be, but it's just somebody who takes on her quality. She's a person who aims for justice, who aims for truth, will make head over heart decisions. But there is a person who's affecting this healing for you, who's affecting these wishes fulfilled. Because we have two wish fulfillment cards here. I'm gonna pull another card because we also have a tower here, man. We got strength here. I mean, judgment, the star, there's a lot happening. Um, could be very victorious. We got that in your outcome position. We've, all right, let us pull one more card each because there is so much to say here that I don't want to get the story wrong because it can change, absolutely. So let me give these a few more shuffles here and then of course I'll update your photo as well. But um, yeah, there's healing here, there's healing here. Um, I do also have a section here that's like advice from the universe and I'm very specific with this section just because if I'm gonna give you advice, I want it to be as accurate and as on point as possible. Obviously read the disclaimer, but you get my point, just really good intentions. But it's basically the advice is, well, what is the energy that's best for you to step into for the best possible outcome when it comes to this situation? So there's no confusion. Um, all right, so let's see here. Let's give these a few more shuffles. Ah, calm down. And I feel like your cards Capricorn are always just like trying to talk to me. You got a lot to say, I'm listening, I'm listening. Um, all right, two more, and then let's see what's happening. August 2020 for Capricorn. One more. All right. Boom. At the bottom, we got the chariot. Movement. Fast. Direction chosen. I'm unstoppable. Try to stop me. Try it. Okay. Really interesting. Let's pull. Let's keep pulling. Let me calm down. Let me keep pulling. And then this way we could really tell you the storyline, Capricorn story, August 2020. Wow. Wow. Sorry, I have so much anticipation here. Okay. So, I feel like a lot of this healing has to do with... Um, 
I'm not even going to get into it because I have already pointed chakras out, but like every time I see the two of swords here, I think of the third eye chakra being blocked. What blocks it is illusions. There's all kinds of illusions, right? Like I'm alone. I'm not good enough. Da, 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 da. There's some healing here because there's been blocks with you that is trying to come through in August. It's really beautiful energy though, because the star is completely positive, complete renewal, feeling like you're born again in a way, absolutely. And then what crosses that is the born again card, right? It's judgment. So I feel like you're just, and the page of pentacles, right? So the page of pentacles is an open, all pages are really open to learning and discovering. And I feel like you're just not, you might be a little scared to learn and discover within yourself, honestly, to like, see the sides of yourself that maybe you haven't wanted to, to get to know in the past but these things will absolutely help you get to that healing place this is what's going on in um august in august um absolutely and you're coming from there's people in your past i feel like there's there's a few people around you absolutely who've helped provide you with some strength feel it feels like really supportive energies like and they they each provide you with like different things that contribute to this healing for example, we have the Queen of Swords. She might be a little bit more cold, a little bit icy, a little bit more logical, but she speaks the truth. And she also does have a lot of experience. You know, she does come from all the queens. Like a lot of times we do emphasize that she comes from a painful past. So she can relate, even though it doesn't seem like it. She's very deep feeling. She comes to these judgments and to these conclusions because of a lot of wisdom and a lot of experience. Um, and she's super intelligent. Um, and then, you know, that's one person around you that could be that way. Another one I feel like is a younger person um, or younger energy that just makes you feel vibrant and interested and maybe taking on a more passionate side to life. One where you're kind of a little bit more healed, right? We all need some healing. Because if we're done here, I mean, we don't want to be done with life, do we? <laughs> do we? Um, and then we have like the high priestess here. It could be a cancer could definitely be a Pisces as well in your life. But it's a person here who helps you use your intuition, who even may understand you without you needing too many words. But I feel like all these people are providing you with strength. They're giving you that willpower to chase the healing, to go after it again, absolutely. Um, now, that being said, you are going to have a tower moment an aha moment when somebody comes to you a little bit self-righteous perhaps healing obviously it has to happen because when i say self-righteous meaning you might even be the self-righteous one i have to say it in the sense of like going to say something to somebody because in order to heal too sometimes you have to forgive you have to let go of certain things maybe you want to approach certain arguments in the past that hurt you but you don't have closure with certain words in the past and that's very much the vibes i'm getting is like some unfinished business that you're going to kind of say some stuff that you've been wanting to say and this is going to both cause a tower moment for you and probably this person who it's said to but but you will be victorious you will feel really good about yourself it might really take a weight off your shoulders and really help you get to some healing like i feel like you might actually feel some progress in august honestly i feel like some of you will actually really feel some of this progress with august because not only is the ace of swords like super mental clarity it's so much clearer than coming from like that two of swords space right you're in a much clearer space more than that though it's also with that wreath of victory so you will be victorious in this situation a tower will come down i think it's more so a conversation that just really shed some light that should have been shed a long time ago um, absolutely when it comes to some healing and like I said healing always involves other people and situations right come on um, not always but I don't know about always but most of the time it's definitely always some people because when we're in pain and we respond out of fear and we respond out of pain, um, pain um, we don't respond the right way and that's how we usually get these bad and negative outcomes but anyhow end of August, you being independent, you enjoying life, you enjoying the fruits of your labor, having gone through this difficult kind of mental time. It's a very mentally difficult time. Absolutely. But you're wanting healing because first let's talk about even what's driving you, what's motivating you. Now this section, which is your subconscious, most people don't relate or 
yeah, most people don't relate to or really have trouble relating to because it is in our subconscious and a lot of us are not aware of it. We have to peel back so many layers, but we do have you basically, again, with the page, we got some pages here, right? So you're definitely needing to be more open with life again, more open with these paths in life and your subconscious is surrendering to the flow of life and to you gaining new perspectives on your relationships, on these things that needed healing, right? When I say new perspective, because that third eye was blocked, right? And so that's like, it all connects the more we talk. Now let's leave this with the advice from the universe for you guys. What do we have here? We have two, we have boom, the three of pentacles and death. Death <clears throat> just speaks of slow transformations, but it also speaks of letting something go. It must be let go. And I think something needs to be let go in order for you guys to work together. And it's definitely advice from the universe that you work together. And not only that you should work together, but it's also for the best possible outcome, right? And every time I think of the three of pentacles, I always think of like ingredients in a recipe. Even if you love sugar and you love flour, right? add some eggs, right? All of a sudden, individually, they're really great, but together what they can create is so much more. And I feel like something needs to be like, oh, some cycle, some dynamic, some type of way of being has to be let go for you guys to work together and move forward. But you will be victorious, Capricorn, and I'm gonna leave it there for you guys. It's a great reading, honestly. A lot of progress and victory this month. I really, um, you guys really do well working through it, absolutely. Um, and wishes fulfilled. You're gonna get it, man. Um, all right, Capricorn, of course, if any of this resonated with any of you, please leave some comments. I love reading them. Like and subscribe. And thank you guys for letting me tune into your energy.